Hi guys, it's time for some guided reading. We're going to work on reading words um, by sounding them out. We're going to read some words that we should already know that we've learned in class. We're going to do a little bit of rhyming words and then we're going to read our story. So let's start off with sounding out words or tapping them out using sounds that we hear and I am going to give you the sounds. If you have a pencil and a piece of paper around and you want to write them down, you may write them down as I say them and then we will sound them out. So first word starts with a D. So the first sound is a D. The middle sounds an ah, and then we have g. So it looks like this. D, a, g. And the word is dog. What is it? Dog. Very good. Next word. Ah, fox. The word is fox. What's the word? Fox. Super. All right, let's do the next one. <clears throat> er, ed, er, ed, red. What's the word? Red. Okay, let's look at the next word. B, I, G. Big, big, what's the word? Big, okay, let's do another one. G, E, T, G, E, T, get, the word is get. Let's do another one. B, A, B us bus. The word is bus. Okay. Next one. K. Now that has one of two letters you could write, but this one will be the kite sound. K. I. D. K. I. D. Kid. The word is. Kid. Okay, next one. T. E. N. T. N. Ten. The word is ten. Last word. Okay, we're going to start with M. A. D. Mud, mud, the word is mud. Awesome. Hopefully you guys will remember those for later on. All right, let's look at some of our words that we've been learning in school and let's read them. H E he, say it, H E he, good job. S H E she, S H E she. C O M E come, C O M E come, H A V E have, H A V E have, S A I D said, S A I D said, L I T T. L E little L I T T L E little W A S was W A S was H A S has H A S has S E E C S E E C Three more. W H A T what? W H A T what? T 
T-H-I-S, this, T-H-I-S, this. Y-O-U, you, Y-O-U, you. All right, I'm going to turn around, let's turn over a little bit, and I'm going to give you a chance to look at our sentences. I have four sentences. I want you to take a minute, see if you can read our sentences before we look at our sentences. Okay, remember when we write a sentence, we start with an uppercase letter. We make sure there's spaces between each of the words, and we put punctuations at the end of my sentence. These are all statements. That means I'm asking, or I'm telling you something, so because I'm telling you something, we'll have a period at the end of the sentence. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully you had a chance to read these sentences, and I'm going to read them, and you can read them with me. We can... Oh, that, red, that word is underlined in red. That is because that is one of those sounding out or tapping words. So it goes g, et, get. We can get on, on, the, b, big, big, b, us, us. We can get on the big bus. Good job. Let's do the next sentence. I see t n ten kids. Kids. I see ten kids. The fox fox is little and red. Red. Good job. Let's read the last sentence. He can see the dog dog in in. The mud, mud. He can see the dog in the mud. Good job. Those are sentences that you should have been able to read because those words that are not underlined in red are words that we've learned in school. So if you were able to read them, awesome job. All right, now we looked at some of those words and we were able to read them. So today we are going to look at our book, which we saw yesterday. See this. Now these are words that we know and there's going to be some other words. So we're just going to look and see if there's any words that you know. See this. The author is Ruth Montgomery. She wrote the book and yesterday we talked about how our pictures are photographs. So it's more of an informational book. So we saw we can see a meat mountain. I'm not going to read it. I just want you to look at the words and see if you know any words. All right, so I am going to attach the book to the video so that you guys can have a chance to look at it so that when we read it together tomorrow, you will know what we're reading. All right, okay guys, I did not get to the rhyming words, so we're gonna quick do some rhyming words. And I'm going to pick this one. This says pig. Pig rhymes with big. Big. If you look, pig and big have the ig sound. So pig rhymes with big. Pig rhymes with fig. Fig. Pig rhymes with d ig dig. Pig rhymes with w ig wig. Now you come up with one. Pig rhymes with. Write something down. 
I would say you could say trig, slig, make up words. That's what Dr. Seuss did. We'll do one more. All right, we'll do this one. W wet rhymes with net. Remember, all we're doing is changing that first sound and their rhyming words. Wet rhymes with pet, pet. Wet rhymes with j -et, jet. Wet rhymes with vet, vet. Wet rhymes with, you get to come up with one now. Maybe bet, slept. There's lots of other words out there that rhyme with the et sound. Write something down. Hopefully I'll get to see it. All right, guys, we're going to stop there. Make sure you take some time to do your activities and read the story. It'll be attached. Have a great night. See you later. Bye.